It takes time to teach a king. Thousands of years ago, Odysseus, king of the island of Ithaca, was sailing home in triumph from the Trojan Wars. I will be greeted with feasting like a god, he boasted. My name will be remembered in Greece forever. But as Odysseus spoke, the gods looked down in anger. Odysseus is no god, they thundered. He has much to learn before he is worthy of being remembered. So Poseidon, god of the sea, stirred up a mighty storm which smashed the boat and tossed Odysseus towards an unknown island. As he came closer to the shore, he saw strangely clad people basking in the sun on the beach. Astonished, mocking, laughing voices spun across the water towards him. But they were not the voices of praise welcoming a king returned from the war. Who were these people? Dazed and confused, Odysseus waded out of the water and looked around him. He did not know that the storm had tossed him forward thousands of years and that these people were 20th century holiday makers. Summoning his most regal manner, he bellowed, The war is over and the Trojans are defeated! But the tourists just gaped at him through their sunglasses in surprise. Have I been away so long that you do not remember me? Odysseus, king of Ithaca? King, said Katerina, a peasant girl who was selling her fruit on the beach. There is no king in Greece, and the Trojan Wars happened thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago? Are you mocking me, girl? No, no, but you are tired. Come, urged Katerina kindly. Come to my village and rest. Odysseus and Katerina set off for the village. Odysseus was weary from the storm, but his heart grew lighter as he left the strange beach behind, for the countryside was just as he remembered it on Ithaca. As they entered Katerina's village, Odysseus was again greeted with laughter. People stared and chatted. Who's that? What is he wearing? Some saw that he was tired and offered him water and fruit as they would to any stranger. But nobody curtsied to him or kissed his ring. They did not know that he was Odysseus, king of Ithaca, hero of the Trojan Wars. At last, Odysseus realized that the gods had tricked him. They had pushed him out of his own time into the future to a time and place where he was more a clown than a king. But the kindly Katerina took Odysseus to her home, and after he had washed and rested, he sat down to a meal with her family. When he had eaten his fill, Katerina said, Now please, Tell us where you've come from. So Odysseus began to tell them of his adventures. And what a tale it was. A long, long time ago, villagers squeezed into the small kitchen and others peered in through the window. Some of the strangest places on earth, but none more strange. But my name is unknown to you, said Odysseus sadly, as he finished his story. And I thought I was a hero to be remembered for all time. I wonder what I must do to make sure the name Odysseus is never forgotten.
the next morning, Odysseus decided he would get his boat repaired so that he could sail off to perform more heroic deeds. But the people of this strange land were far too busy in the fields to help the king of Ithaca. They expected the king to help them. So, all through the summer and autumn, Odysseus helped Caterina and her family. He worked so hard in their kitchen and orchards and vineyards that at the end of each day he fell into bed, too tired to notice the pain from his blistered hands. Never before had he realized how much work was needed to load his table with luscious fruits and vegetables and cheese and oil and wine. This is fun, thought Odysseus, treading the grapes until the juice ran and the seeds and stalks tickled his toes. This was a very special wine. It was the wine for Katerina's wedding. As the camera flashed to record her own special day, Katerina looked at Odysseus and smiled. There was the king of Ithaca, caught forever in the photograph, as an ordinary man at a village wedding. Odysseus would never forget the wedding party. Wine and music and friendship bubbled in his blood. What a time he had had with the islanders. He had learned to work, but above all, he had learned to respect the people. If he had been a hero in his way, so too were the islanders and theirs. Could this be a lesson from the gods? With the harvest over, Katerina and her husband were able to help Odysseus repair his boat. They painted and hammered all day long, and Katerina stitched the sails. Odysseus yearned to see Ithaca again, but he no longer wished to be treated like a god. Now he would rather be remembered as a king of wisdom than a king of pride. When he was ready to leave, Odysseus knew that he must show the gods he had learned his lesson. As he stepped into the boat, he took off his crown and tossed it to Katerina. The gods looked down and were pleased. Poseidon stirred the seas, tossing and spinning the waves. Odysseus was thrown back into his own time and set on course for home. It had taken time to teach the king of Ithaca, but now he would truly be remembered forever.